Well, Emma, in terms of performance, you asked for proper Chelsea. In fact, you demanded yeah. proper Chelsea. Mm -hmm. Did you get exactly that? Yeah, I knew what we were going to do. I was confident in that and I was confident in you know, the way the girls took on the messages and delivered uh, the exact performance that I was hoping for, you know, and uh, I think brilliant from everyone. No single player, um, I think, deserves highlighting. They were all magnificent. Started the game really fast. What was mm. the key to that? Aggression, have to have that. And then you've got to try and dominate your first and second balls, which we did. And then you've got to be clinical. That's what it is at this level. And we were clinical. Kim Little came in and said in the early part of the match, they really struggled with their press. What tactical problems did you try to give them early on? Not going to tell you. Got to play them again. Even now? <laughs> mm -mm. They know what we did. They adjusted to it. Um, you know, it helped them. But this is what it's like. It's tit for tat. I'm sure when we play each other again, there'll be tactical adjustments again. You said before the game, though, that I'd have to ask you after about what, what a proper Chelsea performance yeah. meant. Can you tell us that now? That. That's what it was. Exactly that. But so are we, are, we talk, are we talking tactics or is it more attitude, that sort of thing? Yeah, I mean, course tactics are involved. Like, you know, at the end of the day, we're depleted, but... We had a game plan to stifle them and shut off certain areas. We did that really well and we transitioned and counted well. What do you ask of Lauren James in that central role? And also, when did you make that call? Because she's been in as well and said it was actually quite a last minute thing. Yeah, I mean, like I said, we're depleted. We don't have a centre forward and uh, LJ's been sick this week. So for her to produce that performance, I think was outstanding. And are you allowing her to roam? Would you describe that as like a false nine or do you need her? to be on the shoulder and also within that how important is Nuskin when James does drop deep filling in and, and, and going in herself so I look like the person like a person who's going to let someone roam maybe not no <laughs> uh, listen she she has she has a responsibility out of possession and she does that really well and in possession she has a responsibility but I don't make decisions for her when she's in possession um Lauren feels like she's playing in a playground. If that's what it feels like to her, then great. I'll put her in the playground every week. Um, what did you make of Sockgate and the delay, and how did you how did you stop it affecting your players that that half an hour? I'm gutted for their kit man, to be honest. It's so easy to like have a dig, but I'm gutted for him because they're new people, and it's the last thing he probably wanted. And if we'd have had a change of socks, then I would have put them on for us, but. You know, these things are done like a few weeks in advance. It didn't derail us whatsoever. Like I said, I don't want to throw anyone under the bus. No, and to be fair, actually, I saw you in the tunnel say to Jonas, we'd love to have helped you out. Yeah, no, I, I, want, I don't want the game to be delayed 30 minutes. And like I said, I don't want to throw anyone under a bus. I think uh, those people will feel already under pressure tonight. They don't need me to add to it. Yeah. Uh, how significant a victory do you feel this is, Emma, particularly with the gap it now puts between yourselves and Arsenal? I think the performance was the most important thing. I wanted the performance, regardless of who we put out there. I believe we've got top quality. Uh, we do well in adversity. I think you saw that tonight. Does it, in that regard, set you up really well for the run-in? Like, against a top team with so many players out, you can, you can find a way and actually more than that, dominate a game. Mm. Listen, there's, there's still a way to go. There really is. Yes, we're top. We're three points closer to where we want to be. But we've been here so many times. Like, we've got to get ready to play a game on Tuesday. That's, you know, another one chalked off. We've got eight go games this month. Like, it's, you see the toll it's having on the team. But when you're winning, it helps your mentality. And I think that tonight's win will give the team a huge amount of confidence. So no time for celebrating, no time for a glass of wine. No, definitely not. I've got a school run in the morning. OK. Right, thanks, Emma. I haven't. I was going to say, Saturday. Yes, I'll take that. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> thanks. Thank you.